role of diet and nutrition in the development, either in the initiation or the progression of dental caries and of periodontal diseases. When it comes to diet and nutrition, there were, there were two broad areas. There, there was carbohydrate, refined carbohydrates, uh, so sugars, sucrose in particular, uh, is a major factor in the development of dental caries. We've known this for many, many decades. Um, but what also came out in the, uh, in the research was the role of starch in the development of root caries. In children with a high sucrose intake, we see a lot of demineralization of the crown of the tooth. But in, in older individuals, then it's the starches that are affecting the development of caries in the root. So vitamin D is important in, in mineralization and uh, hypomineralization can result with diets where there is vitamin D deficiency. That can affect the structure of the, the tooth and it takes less acid production to, to give rise to destruction and cavitation and development of caries. In the periodontal diseases, these two factors were also important, but the way in which they work mechanistically is different. So sucrose and sugars and refined carbohydrates, they are driving inflammation. So driving inflammation directly by activating uh, inflammatory pathways, which, which sugar can do. It can increase metabolism, metabolic rates, and the release of uh, oxygen radicals, for example, through mitochondrial stress. Are there common factors between caries and periodontal diseases that are nutritionally based or dietary based? And the answer is yes. But actually, those common factors being carbohydrate intake um, and micronutrient intake the mechanisms through which they work are different in the two diseases. So they're common factors, but they're different mechanisms. Can we do anything about dietary intake uh, to improve uh, caries prevention, periodontal disease prevention, or even treatment? That if you reduce sucrose and you reduce carbohydrates in the diet, you can essentially arrest the caries process. If you completely eliminate carbohydrates, you will stop the disease process. In periodontal diseases, there is emerging evidence from studies using the Paleolithic diet that if you restrict carbohydrate intake, then you reduce inflammation. In terms of micronutrients, the field is um, a little bit more immature. So there is evidence for vitamin D supplementation it may play a protective role uh, in caries and also in periodontal diseases and then the micronutrients, the antioxidant micronutrients, there is evidence certainly in the periodontal diseases um, that intervention studies using these micronutrients adjunctively may produce a small benefit in terms of improving treatment outcomes, reducing bleeding and maybe uh, small reductions, additional reductions in, in pocket depth.